Hi guys, I'm Mark and this is yeah. Bella. Bella is my three and a half year old going on 14 year old daughter and she is in a power chair because she has muscular dystrophy. And we bought this van back about six months ago and we had a really difficult time shopping for vans and we saw no videos online um, anywhere about this van. We only found some really cruddy pictures that weren't really easy to zoom in on. And so we thought it might be cool for us to show a video to everyone of how this van works. Um, because, I mean, it's just nice to do a little bit of research before you shop. And we actually didn't even get to see or drive or touch this van before we bought it or any van similar. So, uh, I mean, we kind of just gambled on this thing and uh, it wasn't cheap. But um, we've been really happy with it. It's been great for us. And we wanted to get a van that was a bit bigger because Bella has a brother. What's your his name is David, and he is one, and so we have lots of stuff. Davy, you call him Davy. So what we might do is we will turn this van on. It's a Ram Promaster converted by a Tempest. Um, I think they're out of Arizona. Um, there's a couple other companies that make conversions similar, but uh, we like this one mainly because it has a door on each side and the other ones didn't. So we'll, we'll go and show you that. Do you want to help me show them the van? Yeah. We're not going to have a pine cone right now afterwards okay all right we'll turn the van on you okay then all right we'll turn on the van okay so we get to, you get to choose the lift that you put into the van we chose a, a clear way lift which means that you can step through even though it's got two doors we find that's really useful because um there's plenty of times in the wheelchair. You go by me. Come on. We there's plenty of times when you've got the wheelchair on the other side strapped down, and it's not that easy to get in and out of the door. And so it is really nice to have the ability to step through the lift. Uh, we do use that all the time, um, and so that's a big deal for us. You know, for him there. So yeah, this is the clear way. It's a bit slow. Probably one, th one consideration if you're looking at getting a van like this versus like a Toyota or a Honda or something is that it's not that not as convenient for loading up quickly. I think the Toyotas and the Hondas, you can just like press a button on the van and the door opens and the lift comes out as you're approaching and that's awesome. Um, we have to start the van first, you can't have the lift work without the van running. And, uh, and then you need to, you know, unload it, deploy it, um, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a process, but the payoff is uh, the payoff is all the space we have in here. So Bella has plenty of space to move her chair around. She actually used to have a bumper, so her chair was actually a little bit bigger. But this is a smaller chair as you can get. This is only going to get bigger from here. So inside, I'm six foot four, which is um, too tall for this van. But my wife is a foot shorter than me, and she can actually stand up in it. And you can see we have all this space in here. And one of the things that we really really liked about this van is the is the back seat so we have four big spaces here to sit people and we've actually been able to sit four kid seats here before with cousins who visited huh yeah, Maisie, and Maisie and Charlie that's right um, we actually we currently have a spare car seat in here we don't use it um, and Bella can either go in one or the other she gets a nice window view and at the moment she sits on which side do you sit on over there yep next to her brother uh, so she can she can talk to him. So uh, this bench seat actually Dad, folds flat. When they talk to him, when they when he ah. So this this bench seat folds flat and turns into a bed. We haven't done it yet because you can't do it while anything's strapped into it. Um, but in the future, you want know, to get to like the, the stage where Bella's traveling in a wheelchair and David's in a, a booster. Um, we will be able to do that, we'll be able to lay it flat, we'll be able to use it as a changing table for, for Bella to get into her bathing suit or something, um, and so it's really nice. So we've got lights all around the van that can be individually turned on for reading lights. Um, these have these big windows, there's great visibility in here, especially for the kids sitting next to the window. Uh, all of the windows have a, a blind, so you can pull the blinds down to get some, some a bit more darkness back here. They're all tinted which is great as well. Uh, we have some cup holders back here on either side, two USB ports, a storage area down here, another one in the back, 
There's another storage area down here on the floor, which we just have um, her seatbelt parts which we don't currently use. Uh, we've got a ratcheting system in the floor for her that we can adjust, which it works really well. And I have plenty of space to get in and around Bella when I need to uh, put the chair down. So it's it's really this is one of the main reason we got the van is all this space back here plus room to sit. There's, some space in here. There's lots of space there, huh? Um, in the front, it's nothing that special. Um, it's just a commercial van. I mean, they've got the nicest seats, but the seats aren't that great. And you sit, you definitely feel like you're sitting up very high. But we actually find it really easy to drive. Um, I mean, you know where the front of the car is, it's right in front of your feet. And there's tons of storage, there's like six cup holders, um, it's got heated seats, it's got air conditioning, cruise control, and so it's, it's pretty good, it's just, everything's kind of manual, nothing's automatic, and considering what you pay for this car, I mean, if you're buying a normal car, you'd get all the creature comforts, but because it's a wheelchair van, you're paying a lot of money and not getting a whole lot of luxury to it. But anyway, we even have a potty seat in here that does not come with a van. We just find it comes in handy every now and then. Um, there is heating and air conditioning back here as well. It's very manual. We don't particularly like it, actually. You can either have it set to heat or cool, but no temperature control. And you can set it to low, medium, high or off. So, I mean, that's okay to get the, temp the car to the temperature you want, but then after it's at the temperature you want, you need to just sit there and turn it off and on just to, just to maintain or you need to drive air from the front to the back of the van. You want to show them the back of the van? Yeah? Okay. So we actually... Because... Just wait up, kiddo. Because we... Uh, because we have to have the van running to make this lift work, we actually got um, a remote start kit put on the van so that we can start it from inside. That, that kind of helps us in a couple of ways. It helps us get the van either hot or cold, you know, hot and a cold day, or cold and a hot day, before we get in, and also helps us that when we're approaching the van with Bella, who is still learning her chair, um, we can actually uh, kind of have her next to us and do all this rather than having to stick her head in the driver's seat. The lights are back there. The lights are on. Okay. Yeah, like we didn't like having to stick our head into the van to put the key in to turn it on because she didn't feel safe. We can't keep an eye on her. And so a remote start helps us with that a little bit. So here's the other major thing we like about the van. It's uh, the storage space is phenomenal. So Bella still has a manual chair she uses sometimes. Uh, we have a full Bob stroller back here for David. Um, and then in the back, I don't know if you can see back there, but the storage space is probably five feet deep and maybe almost a foot high. And so it's pretty awesome. You can fit tons of stuff there. We do Costco runs, uh, you know, do grocery shopping. There's heaps of space. And there's another couple of lights back here for, for lighting things up. There's actually blinds on these windows too. So, uh, so yeah, we, we love it. There's definitely some, like... Uh, it's, everything is aftermarket, which which just means that you know things can break. And so far, we've been relatively lucky. Um, you look in the front. Yeah. So yeah, so far we like this van a lot. We, it really works for us. It's not four wheel drive. It's front wheel drive, but front wheel drive is not so bad in the snow. It's really heavy, so it's good for uh, traction. We haven't, we didn't do snow tires this year, but next year we'll definitely will have to because we get snow here in in Oregon. Um, but we just kind of managed this year. Definitely, we can't go without it next year though. Um, if it was in four-wheel drive, that'd be amazing. It'd be kind of a perfect vehicle for us. Uh, we don't have a tow bar attached, but no, we can do that later. Um, come on, back here. But yeah, this is this is the Tempest again. If you have any questions about it, send me a comment on YouTube or however you see this video and we'd be happy to answer any questions and uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video.